everyone welcome back to another predestined predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos i am kennethia j or i'm telling you kennethia johnson like my nose is getting wider <laughs> like i woke up the other morning it's a definitely i broke my nose so it's like a little off a little bit but it's just getting wider to me and my lips like I see it. So anyway, I got this message, but I've been getting this message. And so I'm just going to release the message because the way it just came upon me to say this word was very strong. Okay. Apostles Creed, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And in the Lord God, Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. That's, that's exactly, that's, <laughs> but that's the 911, the pregnancy. <sighs> who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. The baby moved or the, the baby kicked. Guys, I know some people be like, is she really, like, does that really happen? Yes. And it's so funny because the way the Lord is, because we're all in the same family, we're all one, right? It's so beautiful because as a brother and sister in Christ, a true believer, or just someone else who the Lord has favor on for you to know the story, He'll allow you to see it or or he or or however he does it in a spiritual realm so that you know it's happening. So it's just it's awesome. Other people can feel it too when it happens. Or like the Lord will cause it to happen to another pregnant woman. Like it be <laughs> the Lord be moving. Sorry. Was crucified. What was it? He was he was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, the Lord said, these videos are not just overthinking. Either it's something going on that allowed me to, that allowed the Lord to say yes for me to do these videos or the Lord just spoke. It's not overthinking. It's no, it's a real battle for a breakthrough. It's something that's happening in that moment. And so the Lord will speak to the person through these videos, whether they receive it or not, but <laughs> never just overthinking. I think that video I put out last night, um, I, was, I was standing in the kitchen with Phoenix talking and she was just saying how she wanted to start selling lemonade and french fries. And so she was like, yeah, mom, you should do it. You should do it. And so it just always takes me back to a place to where I was already doing that. <laughs> but my mom stopped me instead of helping me. And so that led to that video last night. It's always a parable. It's always something. Sometimes I just don't even make a video because it's not for everybody. But sometimes I do because I have to. That's my calling or whatever. But these videos are not just overthinking. This it be, it be happening in real life time. God is moving. He's apostolic. We're apostolic. I'm sorry. <sighs> so the Lord God Almighty Jesus Christ was crucified, died, and buried. And then he rose from the dead through the Heavenly Father, the Holy Spirit. He rose and was ascended later, shortly after, um, showing uh, he was a walking testimony. <laughs> He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. And from there, he will, to, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the, uh, sorry, the Christianity Church, the communion of saints, 
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Do not procrastinate and remember your why. Those are the messages I got. Don't procrastinate and remember your why of doing things. Okay, the third message is what are you waiting for? Which is, it goes with the procrastination thing. It's like you're just taking your time. It may be for a job opportunity, a move. It may be for a wedding proposal. That's really what the whole conversation was on. But I be trying to be so nice. I be going everywhere. But that's really what the word was on. Why are you waiting? What is the wait for? God has already said yes. That's why you missed the that's why he missed the last opportunity because I said yes and he never moved. The Lord is saying, what is the wait for? Every day you just wait and you see this other person or your relationship going through some kind of abuse or spiritual attack because you are waiting. And so for you to end up, ah, yes, that's why the Lord not happy because now it's going to fall on you because he done cleared out the way for you to do something and you won't do it. And so now it's like, okay, well now it's going to be your fault that da, da, da is happening. The Lord is just saying, don't wait. Stop procrastinating. It's no reason why you're waiting, says the Lord. I was just going to get a scripture. I was watching two movies. It's actually my signs came from movies first. They came through the movies first. I was watching Finding Dory. I was watching Finding Dory. I never really got to see that movie, but I was watching a short part because uh, because of Phoenix, of course. And so sometimes I watch cartoons by myself, depending on what kind of cartoon it is. <laughs> anyway, I was um, in there for a reason, for a second, for Feeny, and 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 that's the and that's the, it hit my speech. Was like, oh no. I told her to wait and now it's all my fault. Like it was just like a panic, like something bad was going to happen because you keep making this person wait and you don't have a reason to make them wait. It's not like, I don't know. The Lord is just saying, you don't, you're supposed to be manifesting. Okay. Another one was, I actually saw this a few months ago. <laughs> I saw this a while ago, but I keep seeing this scene. Like, I just keep seeing this one particular scene replay in my head. It was, um, I think it was a movie. And, and this man and woman were together. And it's like, mm, the man went back in the, in the past to help um, himself out. He had to propose to this lady and for some, it was like he was stalling. He was procrastinating. It's like he had never proposed to her. It was. It was in the movie. And she was upset that he never proposed because they was already married. It was like, I mean, they were already together. And so they, you know, it was like in the past where they had already saw it happen. And so the fact that she had her hopes up, it had never happened. She. She, he needed her to help him propose. Like he needed her. He had to go at, he went back in the past to go get this lady to help him for the future to propose. So that way they could be together. That was just in that particular moment of the movie, but that did happen. So stop saying you're uncomfortable the uncomfortable the pressure is there so that the manifestation could happen if you're too comfortable if it's too quiet if you don't like being pressured that's when you stall that's when you wait and you don't have to and then time just goes by and then this woman keeps showing you she wants you and then this man keeps showing 
the uh your your woman that he want her and it's just so unnecessary all because you're choosing to wait and it's quite frankly it's selfish you see this person waiting on you and you just standing up there making them wait and, and you see there it's not a good environment for them to be in so the Lord is upset. He's not upset, but he was very stern when he when he was speaking. And yeah, you show your signs like you there, but you got to physically manifest. No, that's that's what the Lord is saying. No more spiritual relationships only. That that and I never wanted it again. So, anyway. I was trying to look for a Bible scripture. I don't have one. All of them are resting and waiting on the Lord. But the particular message I got is for the other person who is waiting. I mean, for the person who the person waiting on the Lord is waiting for. If if that makes sense, this message is for you. Stop waiting. The Lord is saying there's nothing holding you back. It's literally yourself just doing this. And that's why yourself says you go too far. Shalom.